Hi guys, it's Cynthia from Purgatory Paranormal. I hope you're having a great Wednesday night. I'm here in my little workshop and I thought I would do a spirit box session because about an hour ago I turned around and somebody whispered something in my ear, somebody who wasn't there, but I didn't catch what it was. And it was one of those, like if you had been watching me, you'd, you'd, it'd be a laughable moment because you'd see me standing there almost like I'm sniffing the air. I'm trying to work out in my head what it is I heard um, or listen to see if there was any other any other message forthcoming. And of course there wasn't. So luckily no one else was around. Um, but I thought I would do a, a spirit box session. But before I did that, I thought I'd let you know I went to a garage sale this past weekend and I got a couple of cool things. I got this old um, Walkman. I think it was like a dollar, and I haven't even tried to turn it on yet, but I'm going to see if it'll do anything for me. I've also got this cool, this cool old GE radio, and I paid $2 for it, and I suddenly, have an, I suddenly have this obsession with old radios, and I did already message uh, Bob from Wagner ITC about this because it doesn't work, and I was really bummed. I got it cleaned off. And I put the battery in it, and I thought I could do, you know, like a manual session with it, like a lot of other people have tried, and nothing. So I have to try to open it up. It's like from 1975. I try to open it up and see. I don't know if it's salvageable, but if I can save it, I'll let you know. And then I also got uh, um, this really cool picture, and I'll have to show this to you. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. <laughs> It's pretty funny. I um, I asked the older gentleman who was running the garage sale. I said, you know, who is this? You know, is this one of your ancestors? And he said, oh, I don't, I don't know who that is. <laughs> so I thought, well, what the heck? You know, I see this guy here. I don't. I didn't think it was a um, you know, nineteenth century uh, stock photo. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. I mean, look at that mustache though. That's pretty cool. That is, that's some stash on a skinny guy like that, huh? So anyway, I opened it up and the guy's, um, his name is written on the inside. And I'll show you a picture of that. Uh, I can't figure out though. Um, it looks like Lewis. I can't make out the last name. And there's an address. So uh, it's pretty old. I did look up this photographer, and this photographer was doing this work in um, Elmira, New York, in the 1880s. So it's a pretty old photograph, and it was in, you know, a box out in. Obviously, the man was leaving the boxes out, rain or shine, and having his perennial garage sale. You know, every weekend he was having a garage sale. And I felt bad that this gentleman was just laying in a box like that, forgotten. Um, you know, life just passes on and what remains, you know, what's the, uh, what's the sum of a life, you know. So I thought, let me try to figure out who he is. I haven't been able to do that yet, though. So the research continues, but, you know, we shall see. Anyway, I also recently bought a, another video camera that has night vision, night they call it night shot, I guess. Uh, and I'm waiting for a couple of parts to make it into a daytime IR camera. So I'm pretty ex excited about that. I'm going to be using that soon in the future. So anyway, I thought I would do a spirit box session tonight with the 2125. What I wanted to show you first was in my workshop here, which is sort of in the middle of my house, even though there is a window, um, when I put the radio on, now the radio is on... This is a local station. Okay. So when I put it near the amp, that's about as clear as it's coming in. I can move the antenna a little bit. But that's about it. So now I'm going to hook it up to the amp and the pedal. Quiet down a little bit. I see if anything comes through. And just see if there's anybody here who tried to whisper to me earlier and wants to tell me something. So. Let me turn the radio off first. 
I always recommend turning all this stuff off before you hook it up, otherwise, and before you turn the pedal on, otherwise you get this booming sound that's really not very pleasant. So I turn the amp on, and I'm going to turn the pedal on, and I'm going to hook up the radio, and I'm going to turn the radio on. I'm going to put all my wires, are all on my way. Okay. So the radio is on. Which volume it's on. So basically, that's what it sounded like. A little bit of music coming through, but not too much. And now I'm going to scan. It's on FM. Someone whispered something to me earlier. Who is that? Can you tell me who you are? I'm sorry, I didn't catch it when you said it earlier. Can you tell me what you said to me? all the way up on the radio. Is there a message you're trying to give to me? I know that you're speaking with me. Can you say my name? Can you say hello, Cynthia? Can you say it loud? Not obnoxious. I heard that. <laughs> I think I was just called obnoxious.
I would appreciate if you could just say my name so that I can confirm for myself and those that would watch this video that you're here with me. Can you say Cindy? What was that? Dang it is right. I thought I heard it. I didn't catch it again. Try again. Try again. I'm here. Try, try to use the radio, the energy, and the voices, and the white noise to speak to me. Or just speak right to the camera or to me. What was that? Someone is trying to say something to me and I cannot catch it. Try again, please. What is it you're trying to tell me? Do you have a question for me, or do you have something you need me to do for you? And what? Here? I can hear you if you speak to me. Have you been here before? Spirits, is David here? David, are you here with me tonight? Is it you that's trying to give me a message? David, if it's you, would you say my name, please? Would you say Cynthia or Cindy? to try to see who it was that tried to speak to me earlier. In the kitchen. It's either in the kitchen or my back room that I get contact, so... If you can't come through now, perhaps you can come later and tell me what you need. Well, spirits, I'm going to shut the radio off now.